for me. For them. <laughs> it's great to see you again, man. Thanks, JB. For all that is me, for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. Nothing can ruin the holidays more than a broken garage door. No, I'm not Santa. It's Dwight with Mesa. Is your garage door screaming out for holiday cheer? Right now, get $500 off the cost of any new garage door. It's our biggest discount ever. Plus, take advantage of our incredible financing with new garage doors for as little as $11 a month or zero interest and zero payments for 12 months. I'll even include our exclusive Quiet Light system, giving you the quietest garage door on the block. A $199 value, now absolutely free. Call now. Black Friday in Sunday at Jerome's. Your choice, a Jasper Opal Queen mattress for only $9.99 and get a fully adjustable base free. Choose 60 months, no interest financing or a sales tax discount. Black Friday in Sunday at Jerome's. This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now at six, an alleged hate crime attack in Beverly Hills. An elderly Jewish man attacked on his way to worship by a man with a belt. Good evening. I'm Leslie Matty. And I'm Juan Fernandez. This is KCAL News at six on CBS Los Angeles. The attack happened while the man was walking to synagogue with his wife yesterday morning. Yeah, police say the suspect hit the victim with a belt and made anti-Semitic remarks. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen spoke with a local rabbi, Lauren, about the attack and how the Jewish community is feeling tonight. Leslie, you know, while we're hearing more and more about these anti-Semitic attacks, anti-Semitism is nothing new. The rabbi I spoke with tonight told me it's never gone away, but that does not mean it will be tolerated. An anti-Semitic attack on the way to synagogue in Beverly Hills. The police chief says the suspect was homeless. The victim's son posting on social media a picture showing his father's blood-soaked shirt. He wrote his father was hit with a belt from the back and still found the strength to get up and chase the suspect down. The Beverly Hills police station is right here. Now the temple the couple was walking to is just down the street about a half a mile. Unfortunately, the incident happened just outside the police station and our cameras picked it up very quickly. We had other witnesses there and we were able to get officers there with just in, in minutes, less than a minute. Officers arrested the suspect who is now facing a slew of charges, including hate crime, elder abuse and assault with a deadly weapon. The anti-Semitic attack comes at a time where reported hate crimes in L.A. County are at an all time high. The latest report by the Commission on Human Relations found hate crimes saw an 18 percent increase in 2022, going from 790 reported hate crimes to 929, the highest since 2001. Of those hate crimes, the report found a 41 percent increase in religious crimes, with 83 percent of those being anti-Jewish. It's incredibly disturbing. One of the things that it is doing is pointing out exactly how much anti-Semitism has always been here. Rabbi Michael Barclay says as disturbing as it is, light is being shown on darkness and the Jewish community will overcome. You don't back down to bullies. Um, you stay up, you say here we are, and we're going to bring light into the world because that's what Hanukkah is about, that's what Judaism is about, that's what life is about, is giving each other light. The suspect is being held on a $100,000 bond and is set to go before a judge on Tuesday. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass posted on social media. Juan and Leslie, back to you. Warren, thank you.